What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. We've got a great video for you guys. Trump has issued a stern warning. So we're going to go over what that warning is. Alrighty. Ron DeSantis has not yet announced his 2024 candidacy for the White House, but one person very much acting like the Florida governor is already his competition is Donald Trump. Over the last several months, the ex-president has claimed DeSantis uh, tearfully begged him for an endorsement in 2018, declared the governor would be working at a pizza hut if it wasn't for him, called DeSantis a wheelchair over the cliff kind of guy. Dude, where, where does he come up with stuff like that? Um, he implied some other things about DeSantis um, and reportedly spent a good chunk of his time coming up with derogatory nicknames about his would-be rival, including one that seemingly takes aim at both DeSantis' height and other things. And now the Trump's campaign has apparently issued a warning to anyone even entertaining the idea of working for the governor. Uh, there was a report that Team Trump has put the word out that anyone who has worked for DeSantis in recent days or plans in the future, whether in his Florida office or on his presidential campaign, will be persona non grata should they later try to gain employment with Trump. It's a time for choosing, a source close to the ex-president told uh, a news source. If you work for Ron DeSantis' presidential race, you will not work for the Trump campaign or in the Trump White House. While this level of pettiness is nothing new for Trump, who as president regularly fired people via Twitter, um, trashed employees, and demanded underlying loyalty above all else, it's obviously not a great way to run a campaign or a presidential administration. Now, I actually highly disagree with that, and here's why. I think it's perfectly okay that he's saying that. Because the biggest issue with his campaign when it came down to it was especially towards the end, he had a lot of bad people whispering stuff in his ear and he didn't know who he could trust. And there's a source pretty close to him. I'm trying to remember, I think it was, um, oh man, who's the guy who did all the social media? Um, God, I can't think of his name, but um, I'm pretty sure it was him. And he basically said that in a public interview. He was like, the problem is, like, he's got all these voices in his ear, and he really doesn't know who's, like, actually on his side. So for him, why would he trust someone that maybe worked for DeSantis and then is, wants to come jump ship? And it's like, yeah, maybe he does trash some people on social media. Maybe he does fire some people publicly. Freaking Elon Musk did it, too. Who cares? Sad day you get fired. Whether it's in person or Twitter, who freaking cares? Go get a new job and stop crying. Like... They blow up these things that, to me, aren't even really that big of a deal. And I'm like, you're talking about, like, the most important position in the nation. you got to know you have all good people in your camp. Because I think that's where he screwed up the first time. Is he just had some, some moles, some leaks, and some people that didn't really have his back. So, I don't really, like, when they're like, oh, this level of pettiness and da-da-da, it's no way to run an administration... Well, what's the example for running an administration? Obama? What we've got now? I mean, let's get real here, right? So, let's continue. It's the American people who will ultimately decide who is the next president. Well, so we hope. And many grassroots see through these desperate pleas for allegiance and instead wish there was a, a substantive debate about the future of our great country. A conservative grassroots organiz organi organizer. Lord, I can't talk. Uh, said recently, if Trump wins, he'll need to hire the very best, best, very best people he can. Holy cow, I can't talk. Uh, that was Mick Mulvaney, who served as Trump's third chief of staff. Whoever is advising him to exclude folks who support other Republicans as a primary doesn't have a clue as how to run a government. During his rally in Waco, Texas, uh, which was panned even by the gang at Fox and Friends, Trump repeated his claim that DeSantis would have been consigned to the scrap heap of political history were it not for the then president's endorsement. Good chance that's true. What legacy does he have if he's not Florida governor? Maybe he still would have won. Maybe not, though. Like, people forget how powerful that Trump endorsement still is, but back then, you weren't getting anywhere without that endorsement. I mean, you just weren't, you know? So there's a good chance he's not Florida governor without the endorsement. Maybe he would have. Not saying he wouldn't have. For sure, but I'm saying there's definitely a good chance 
And then is he here? No. If he doesn't have his legacy as Florida governor, which he's done a stand-up job as, I'm obviously thrilled with that. The whole point being, he's not necessarily running for president, you know? Um, telling the crowd he took pity on the guy when he showed up with tears in his eyes and almost nothing in the polls. After the rally, he told reporters if not for him, the Florida governor would probably be working at a cigar store or a law firm. During an interview with Hannity, Trump, for at least the third time, insisted that DeSantis wept before him. <laughs> New poll from the Center for American Political Studies at Harvard and the Harris gave the ex-president a 26-point lead over DeSantis. On the other hand, citing polls out of Iowa and New Hampshire, Axios noted that DeSantis is performing better in the early states where voters pay closer attention. Yet they didn't actually name any numbers, they just said he is. So... I don't know. You know, this has been a big debate in the Republican Party. Trump versus DeSantis. The argument for DeSantis is like, hey, Trump's too loud, too boisterous. We need someone more presidential, you know. And, you know, Ron's still, like, got all the right values. And I'm like, yeah, but look look closely because it's not everything. It's not everything you would think. Like, again, you can't just read Fox headlines. You got to really look at who these people are endorsed slash funded by previous bills and things that they maybe said no to. There's there's iffy stuff with Ron. That's all I'll say. And it's not that hard to find. I'm not saying Trump is a saint by any means, but for me right now, it's still Trump. Because I trust him to go at the system more than I think Ron ever would. And that that's all that matters to me. So anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure you check out the patrioticjournal.com linked in the description below. Use code TRUMP to get one entire year of a free membership. That coupon code expires at the end of this month, so make sure you take advantage of that, guys. Stay safe more than anything, and stay tuned for more updates.